This is a quick video to show how fast and how easy it is to optimize air cuts using Vericut version 8 or higher. This is an NC program written in G codes and we're going to use the optimization option for Optipath called Air Cuts Only. Air Cuts Only lets you optimize just the moves that are completely in air. We just turn it on. This is the output file extension that will be made and we play the simulation. You'll notice the green Optipath light is on here and we can also turn on the graphs to show the effect of the optimization. Notice the optimized toolpath output is shorter than the original runtime indicating that there's savings. At the end a calculator opens to show you the amount of savings. In this case we've managed to save a little over 10%. Closing those windows, you can then use the Compare Files option to see what changes were made to the NC program. The original program on the left, the optimized program on the right, showing you where the air cut feed rate, in this example 200 inches a minute, has been inserted for the motions completely in air. That's really all there is to optimizing with air cuts and creating an optimized output file that will run faster. There is another option, however, that will even increase your savings more. So again, going back to the air cuts option, we can turn on the breakup so that motions that are partially in air and then enter material or exit material and end up partially in air will be optimized and broken up with the air cut feed rate. Here we would need to enter the distance away from material that we want the feed rate to be reduced to program feed. And the exit clearance distance here. So I'll make them both 50 thousandths. And again the OptiLite turns on and we can play the simulation to optimize the NC program. This level of optimization should give you slightly more savings. So in this case, we got an extra percent to 11.5%. And that's all there is to optimizing for air cuts.